YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. Do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Now, I do want to jump right into the Shiba Inu charts, but before I do that, guys, if you're not yet tapped into our Discord, please join us on Discord. We've got a lot of six and seven figure cryptocurrency holders in there. And we're very willing to help you guys. We love helping new people, helping people get started because that's what's going to be the most important thing to crypto is onboarding new people, getting more people familiar with things like MetaMask and stuff like that. So if you just need technical help or you're confused with some stuff and having problems right now, definitely jump in our Discord. Or if you're just looking to learn TA, jump in there. If you're looking for coins and stuff like that also, we have a ton of that. We are also creating more resources for you guys as traders also. Things like information on taxes and stuff like that. So again, use that Discord as your tool. It was created by people that have already been in this space for a long time and have already created success in this space. And today we're going to be talking about one coin that has created a lot of success for a lot of people on this channel because we were actually one of the first channels to be talking about this coin. And that coin, of course, is Shiba Inu. Of course, we talked about it yesterday. We talked about the massive pump, the price increase, and the fact that you know it, it uh, was reaching some critical uh, resistance levels to see if we were going to be able to make some new highs. It turns out that we didn't. Bitcoin decided that it wanted to take a dump, which just kind of happens. Bitcoin tends to be the market determiner, right? That's why we have this uh, Bitcoin dominance at the top of the page on CoinMarketCap. So you guys can see Bitcoin has a 40% dominance over the market and Bitcoin decided that it wanted to jump up to 25 and reject. Last night I was really excited actually when I saw this 25. I think a lot of people were really excited. I think this was the peak of SHIB. And I think that is something that we should pay attention to is where the volume is going on all these pumps. And every single time that uh, Bitcoin decides that it wants to pump, SHIB receives a lot of volume. Actually, yesterday, SHIB was up over a thousand percent 24 hour volume, which means people are either longing the market or they're shorting the market. And that is what we want to see. We want to see interest in what we're looking at. And of course, there is no question, is SHIB an interesting coin? As a matter of fact, it's coming in at number 12 on CoinMarketCap with 1.7 million people watching this coin. So that's the reason why every single time Bitcoin pumps a little bit, uh, SHIB ends up getting a lot of attention in 24 hour volume because all these guys are gonna get a notification saying, hey, Shiba Inu is up this much in 24 hour volume, Shiba is up this much in market cap. And yesterday they got a notification saying SHIB had pumped over 35%. Um, and a lot of those guys ended up FOMOing in. And of course, when that happens, the whales like to take profit and they like uh, any, well, a lot of people took profit right here. And again, there's no problem with taking profit. We talk about taking profit all the time, but what people want to know is, was this a fake out or is this, are we still in a bull trend? In my opinion, guys, we're just correlating with Bitcoin right now. It's really going to depend on if Bitcoin really wants to take off or if Bitcoin decides that it wants to create uh, this head and shoulders pattern, which we talked about on this channel, we've been talking about on this channel. Um, we always talk about the bullish case scenarios, but we also do keep up with to date with the market sentiment. And we always keep in mind that the trend is our friend. So as you guys can see, Bitcoin is still creating new higher highs, but we are still sitting on some key resistance. And when this happens, whenever Bitcoin drops down and starts sitting on some key resistance, um, usually all of our favorite altcoins also take a nasty spill and start also relying on some key resistance. But the good news for SHIB is I do think that this is a good psychological barrier. I like this 15K range. It took us a while to get out of the 10, out of the 10 range. Um, and we jumped all the way up. We broke out of the 12 range even. That was really good. Um, hopefully we'll develop some kind of support as you guys could see. Uh, one good thing about these pullbacks, you know, a lot of people, they don't like to see the pullback, you know, it's good because we're getting more information, you know, and this is all psychology, right? This is all what we value this coin at. So if this thing starts gaining some uh, support here, you know, we could start seeing more of a retrace. Hopefully we want to see something like a cup and handle start playing out. As you guys can see, SHIB is still creating new higher highs, um, but this pattern is not looking very strong. This could very much be a shoulder head and a shoulder, which would be a bearish pattern. This is kind of like what we saw play out here, right? A shoulder head, shoulder in it was followed by a dump. So that's kind of what we're looking for in a bearish scenario. But in a bullish scenario, we want to see, again, this creating new higher highs, and we want to see somewhat of a cup and handle pattern play out right here. A cup and handle would be this going like this, maybe taking a small dip before uh, retesting and reaching some new um, support levels or some new, yeah, we'll try to 
some new resistance levels. We want to try some new resistance levels. So also, as you guys can see too, we are looking like we're cup and handling also on this one year chart. This one year chart is looking very good to me. It's an indicator that we might have found a bottom, right? This might have been a double bottom right here. And hopefully we are starting to see a retrace. If we could see a retrace on SHIB, I do think guys that this would be enough to spark a massive meme coin rally. And if you're not plugged into this channel, you're gonna miss out on a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money, guys. And I'm gonna show you also, real quick before I end this video, why I do believe that was just posted actually just two hours ago by Plan B. He, you know, Plan B is the person who is responsible for this stock to flow chart that we always show on this channel. This guy has had this stock to flow chart for quite some time now. And as you guys can see, it's been accurate over the years. Every time we've touched this 200 week moving average, we've seen to move off of it. And uh, we are in a, every time that we've entered into this blue area, it's been a great area to accumulate. And usually it will lead to us uh, in being in a recovery. So the fact that we're now creating some light blue, right? We might see a little sell off like this again before a run up. That could be a possibility, but it seems like usually when we go from blue to light blue um it's an indicator that we're going to hopefully see some kind of a meme rally hopefully seem some kind of a, a rally for some of our altcoins and to see a higher bitcoin at least this is what i think this is what a lot of people in the market are saying sentiments of course change all the time guys i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comments below and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace